Hello everyone, with the FA Cup final this weekend, I wanted to simulate the result and whatever result happens here, I'm going to have a little bet on it. So let's find out who wins. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Manchester United facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have a little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester United facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Diogo Dallo. Now with Rashford. And return to Rashford. Defensive efficiency personified. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Cross could be useful. And a goal for United! The opener in the final! And it could be hugely significant! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Rodri. It's a promising City move. Could play it in. The Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Grealish Holland Foden Clean challenge And a throw in it's going to be
Casemiro. Scott McTominay. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. And a fine tackle. He made it look simple, really. Silva. Holland. Grealish. On to Holland. De Bruyne. On to Holland. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Holland. And closed down straight away. Juan Bisaka. It's with McTominay. Casemiro. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes has it. United being afforded too much space. Fernandes. Great pressure to win the ball back. A chance to whip it in. Good looking ball. Now with Rashford. Diogo Dallo. An authoritative challenge. Given away by City. Making progress. Fine cross into the middle. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Juan Bisaka. Marcus Rashford in position. And danger still. Well, they can bring it out now. Poland. And the advantage is with City. Good work to win the ball back by United. Bruno Fernandes. Well, visionary passing. No nonsense clearance. Walker. And there it is, the half time whistle. So back in business, the second half underway, and City trying to plot a route back into this one. Jeremy Doku. Walker now. Rodri. On to Silva. Delightful pass. The Breine. Cross blocked. And he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. And players waiting at the far post. Well, it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Bruno Fernandes. And continues his run. And he's broken free. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal.
so 2-0 now Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. And as a result, have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch. And I don't think anything's going to change that. Juan Bisaka. And they have possession again. Grealish. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Doku. Now a potentially dangerous position for Sissi. Holland. Here's Bernardo Silva. The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne. Oh, moving it nicely. Textbook defending inside the box. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Rashford. And the snuffing out of the cross there. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Real concern for the Brents now, because it looks like he landed with his elbow underneath his body, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. Bruno Fernandes. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes has it. Rashford. Precise ball movement. In possession, Mella. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Crossing opportunity. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Strong but fair tackle. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Silva. Rodri. Committed challenge. Aaron Wan Bisaka. It's with McTominay. Maguire. Casemiro. This is Varan. Now Casemiro. Well, he likes to run at them. Bruno Fernandes very alert defending to put a stop to the chance Doku Walker now and just five minutes remaining Jeremy Doku Walker back he can and who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters it would be quite the story well as you can see this is a wonderful strike he makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it it's a great goal
two Wallaces here. Diogo Dallo. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Playing advantage here. United keep it. Rashford. Oh, showing excellent vision. And they could do damage. A goal! And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.